the day of reconciliation. This is a good day in South Carolina. Two men represented in bronze remembered together. Larry Doby and Bernard Baruch grew up in Camden in very different circumstances, but have more in common than people may realize. One of the things we have to do in order to have any hope for the future, we have to honor the past. We have to recognize how we got here. Those two men struggled with racial uh, discrimination, with religious discrimination, and they made it, and, and they inspire us. The sculptures occupy a prominent place on the front lawn of the Camden Archives and Museum. One represents Larry Doby, the first African-American baseball player to integrate the American League. The second sculpture is of Jewish financier, philanthropist, and advisor to presidents, the park bench statesman Bernard Baruch. It reminds us of, us of our own greatness. The fact of the matter is that we have great sons and daughters coming from South Carolina. And the truth is that when we celebrate our history, we celebrate our ability to make things happen together. We're celebrating the future of South Carolina. The fact is that people continue to make South Carolina their home. Folks who were born here continue to come back home because of the success and the evolution of who we are as a state. Just think of the contrasting backgrounds of these two people, the backgrounds. One having to spend his early years with his maternal grandmother in a segregated community, and the other being the son of a surgeon who was in the Confederate Army. Yet both retained strong ties to Camden, and both went on to live exemplary lives. Their roots, even though fostered in two different worlds, really mattered. Everyone can Google right now. So you go back and you Google and see some of the things that these two gentlemen have accomplished. You say, well, I didn't know anything about it. Why? Because never, no one ever told you anything about it. The theme for this artistic installation is reconciliation. Though these two native sons of Camden were very different, they both rejected the voices of racial and religious division. Now, visitors to Camden can learn more about their accomplishments and extraordinary gifts to the nation. You know, I grew up in the segregated South. I was born in 1941. Um, it's hard for me to believe that we're here today, but we are. And we've got a long way to go, but we've come light years from the 50s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. And there's real hope now that we can go forward. There's a plaque over there that quotes Abraham Lincoln, Robert E. Lee, and Martin Luther King on the same piece of bronze. I don't think that's happened any place in America.